have our, our tools in our toolbox, our hammer, our screwdriver, our wrench, our tape measure. Yeah. And so we always like to end our shows with some tips, mm -hmm. right? So these are our five tips to making sure your, your toolbox is well maintained. Yeah. I have a designated person, team, who is responsible for ensuring your company is compliant and protecting the compliant, you know, compliance rules. Uh, I think without one person having their eyes on that compliance ball, um, things can get lost. Yeah. Tip number two is make sure your code of conduct is unique to your organization, but is also uh, complete and train on that code of conduct to make sure that your employees are aware of where to find it, mm -hmm. how to access it, what's in it, and how to use it. And when it's updated. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and, and make sure that your organization has reporting methods, both anonymous reporting methods and direct reporting methods. So ones where they can tell you their name and a phone number and you can call them, but uh, also for those who uh, maybe fear retaliation. Uh, the fourth tip is be proactive with risk assessments and audits. So make sure that you are aware of new and changing regulations yeah. as a compliance department. That's why it's important to have that department and that leadership. But also do random testing of your reporting mechanisms to make sure that they're working the way that they should be working, that reports are going where they should be going and issues are being handled appropriately. I, I'm going to take a second on this tip. Anytime I get to speak with a client, I tell them to do that. To test their line. It is the biggest thing ever. Like, I want to make sure that we're providing service in a way that's satisfying to you, but also you need to kind of know what's it like when I get a report or what's it like when I get a report like this? Because you can test your reporting mechanisms uh, using like certain trigger words, like what if there was an emergency? We'll test it. I know what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, tip number five, uh, have a case management system to house your records. You need to have a place to kind of keep all the documentation that comes along with compliance in one spot for those audits. Yeah, if you're ever audited and you don't have that information, that's a scramble. <laughs>